Hi guys, Kings of ME here again, uh, today with another tutorial video. Uh, this one's going to be about generally running plugins. And um, so, you know, a lot of you might be, you know, wondering about plugins. You know, maybe you've never run a server before, you don't fully understand them, you don't know where to get them, you know, and, uh, w you know, what's a good server without plugins? So um, today I'm going to go over the generals of plugins. Alright, so um, here's the folder that we created in one of my earlier videos on how to run a server. And when uh, the server started the first time, it generated this folder called the plugins folder here. And this is where everything happens with plugins. So as you can see, mine's empty right now. But um, we're going we're gonna to add some plugins today. So um, the first thing we're going to want to do is um, we're going to go onto this website where the plugins are. And this website will be in the description. And it's called plugins.bucket.org. All right. Um, and then uh, let's just find a plugin here. We're running Craft Bucket version uh, 450. So, you know, you find a plugin around version 450. Most of these plugins will work. Even these 486s will probably work. I'm not saying they will. I'm not saying they won't. But um, let's find one. I'm just going to find one today that I'm almost going to guarantee is going to work. So um, let's go here. And it looks like here's one that's 440. So this, this should work. So I'm going to click this. And, uh, let's see. Now, the first thing you want to do, uh, when you get on a, a, a plugins little, uh, form page here, is you need to look and see if it requires any other plugins to, uh, run. So, um, it looks like this one may require, uh, permissions to run. And I know that because down here, the permission nodes, it has permission nodes. Alright, which that doesn't necessarily mean it needs permissions to run, but most of the time, if it has permissions nodes, it's going to need permissions. So let's quickly go get permissions. And permissions is just a plugin that gives you, like, permissions. It's, it's exactly what it says. It gives uh, you permissions. If you want to be the admin, you can be the admin. If you don't want somebody to be the admin, then, you know, you don't let them be the admin. So there's permissions here. I'm just going to download this really fast here. And then, alright, so... Now let's go back to that one that we just had there. Alright, so I believe it was, if I remember, Music Craft here. So, let the first thing, like I said, you like I was saying, you need to look for is instructions. Some of these plugins, it's not uh, as simple as just dragging it into the plugins folder. Some of them you, it requires to do other things. But as you can see, there's just usage instructions. Um... There's commands. It doesn't look like there's any instructions on how to install it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for the download link, which right here is the download link. All right. And then the th second thing you might want to look at is what version it's meant for. Um, we're running version 450 on our server here, so um, this should work. Um, this sh almost should work. I mean, most plugins will work no matter what version you have, but some of them are outdated, some of the plugins are outdated, and uh, some of your craft bucket might be outdated. You might need to update your craft bucket. But anyways, for now, let's just download this. So we download that, and then now we can just uh, X out of here, and then let's go under this folder, all right? And the first thing we're going to want to do is out of your downloads, first off, click on the folder first, all right? And then as you can see, you don't want to drag just this whole folder into plugins because your jar is in what I like to say exposed. In the pl in the plugins folder, these jar files, right when you double click it, you need to all you need to be able to see them all. All right? What well, basically what that means is that this permissions.jar here can't be in this folder in this pl uh, plugins folder. I'll show you. So if I drag these both into my plugins folder, that's the way it should look right there. All right, when I'm in my plugins folder, I should be able to see permissions.jar and the folder. All right, it shouldn't look like this with just the folder. This plugin won't run unless this, all right, is out here like that. Now it will run. All right, so that's basically how the plugin folder works. All right, so uh, let's download that. Uh, put that music craft one in here again too. So downloads. We're gonna look for the music craft one. Here it is. Let's open this in Finder here. And then we're going to take do the exact same thing. We're going to take these and we're going to drag them into the plugins folder. All right. As you can see, both the jars are exposed in the plugins folder. All right. 
Alright, so next thing we're going to do is let's try running the server to see if the plugins work or not. Alright, so let's double click our start command. And as you can see, after it's done uh, loading the world, the initial wor uh, world load, it's going to say if they worked or not right here. So as you can see, this was initialized. Permissions was initialized. Music craft, um, you know, it, it, it's enabled right there. So that's good. That, um, on 90% of the time, that means it worked, all right? You know, on those other 10% of the time, you know, um, when you actually get into the game and try to use the commands on this, sometimes it won't work and it actually ends up breaking, even though on here it loads. So, um, but 90% of the time, if this is, uh, here is correct, um, then it did load, and if you still are having a problem, it could be just because you're not typing in the right command, or um, that uh, your server could be lagging. It could be other factors. All right. So those are working plugins, and now I'm going to show you what a non-working plugin would look like. All right. So um, I'm just going to download a non-working plugin here, um, a really outdated plugin that I just happen to know about. So let's go back to here, and there's that plugins.bucket.org again. And then we're going to type in this one I know about. And as you can see, 289. Now that is really old, all right? We're running version 450, so this is almost guaranteed not to work. And I'm just going to show you what it looks like when a plugin doesn't end up working. So you understand when it's not working and when it is working. All right, so let's quit out of here. All right. And then what we're going to do, open up this again. We're going to take... Uh, blow up on death out oh, some of them don't come with the folder these folders some of them don't all right see uh, this is this doesn't mean it's not working just because it doesn't have a folder some of them actually generate the folder when it runs its first time also so now let's try working the uh, running the uh, server and see what happens all right and uh oh what's this right here this basically says the plugins not working all right all this stuff is just a bunch of stuff. Uh, you really it doesn't really matter unless you're a coder and you're trying to figure out exactly what happened. But for the most of us that are just trying to run the server, this means there's a problem. There's something wrong. As you can see, could not load plugin blow up on death, uh, blow up death. All right. Um, there's numerous reasons, and uh, I know the reason why this one isn't working is because this plugin hasn't updated since version 289, which was a very long time ago. So um. On other cases, if it's the latest plugin, um, your uh, craft bucket version could actually be too uh, too low. You might need to update your craft bucket, all right? Which your craft bucket is this right here, all right? So sometimes you may need to update, and actually sometimes um, you may have too much of a latest version. So if you downloaded the latest version of craft bucket, some plugins might not run because they're not updated to run with uh, that's such a late version of a uh, craft bucket. There's numerous reasons. I mean. There's a lot of diagnostics that you could do. I mean, you could try changing your craft bucket version. You could update to the latest version of the plugin. Um, but uh, basically, what this means is that it's not working. All right. And then, as you can see here, these worked again. As you can see, they work just like that. All right. So basically, that's a basic um, tutorial on plugins. I mean, there's a lot more to cover on plugins. Um, but I mean that's just the basics of plugins. So if you have any questions, um, just you know comment on this video or go on to my Minecraft uh, helper website and ask me there. So um, I hope this helped everyone and uh, thanks for watching. I just